and we're back fellow knife enthusiasts today I'm just Joel with Land Knife showing you a five minute review of the Wii Shudan. So there are several different options for this knife. There is a bronze with a black stone wash, the blue one which is what we have here, the black one with the satin finish, the gray with a stone wash, and of course the Damascus version. So I'm going to go over the overall specs of this knife first and then I'll give you a quick tidbit on what I think. So. This knife is 8.29 inches overall with a 3.48 inch CPM 20 CV steel blade, trailing point actually, with a flat grind, satin finish on this model, no jimping. Blade is deployed with jimped flipper stud, and very interesting flipper stud at that. Whew, snaps, love that. Handle is titanium. This one is like a blue uh, tumbled stone wash type of look. As I mentioned, there is other color options. So if you're not crazy about the blue, I don't know how you couldn't be, but you might not be. There's other options for you. It's got a tip-up titanium pocket clip to match the finish, along with a backspacer. Frame lock, of course. Blade is 0 0.13 inches thick. Blade width is about 1.64 inches. Operates on cage ceramic ball bearings does come like a uh, most of Wii's high-end knives with a black zippered pouch I'll show you that and it also comes with a cleaning cloth and stickers so there it is overall very secure frame lock I love the blue titanium handle got lots of details, you know, micro texturing, some milling, lots of detail went into it. Now the, the back does have some similar detailing as well, so they keep up with the consistent look. Once again, it's kind of like a futuristic design, which is big with Wii. 20 CV, great edge retention, great corrosion resistance. This knife is built to last, and I love the, the quick deployment with the flipper stud. My favorite part about this knife, other than the blue color, is the look of this blade. It looks amazing. It cuts well. It just looks so, I don't know, dangerous, but not at the same same time. I think I just like trailing point blades. Weighs just 4.9 ounces, so a little heft to it. The only negative thing I have to say about this is that the pocket clip is just a little tight to the handle, so it's going to be a little difficult to slide it on like your jeans or something like that. I just noticed that because I tried to put it in my pocket the other day. I was like, oh, this is a little difficult. But you might just want to collect it too, so this is a very nice collection piece. Um, I also want to mention that there isn't much contouring to this handle. Actually, there isn't really any. I mean, it is a little curved. But other than that, it's a very straight, very uh, dramatic, just handle design. So if that isn't your thing, you know, maybe go with something a little uh, more, you know, contoured, like the Starhawk or a couple of other high-end Wii's have more contouring to the handle. Okay, so overall, I give this an A. I mean, we does great work with titanium and CPM 20 CV steel. They do good with high end because that's what Wii's tier is. They do high end blades. They did a pretty good job with this one. A handle could probably use a little more contouring and as I said the puck clip's just a little tight against the handle so it's going to be a little difficult to put it on your, your jeans. Maybe go with something a little thinner. You know like yeah, slacks. You guys wear slacks nowadays. I don't know if you wear slacks. I wear jeans so. Okay so this was the Wii Shudan. I am a Jewel with Atlantic Knife. I almost said I'm am Atlantic Knife. Technically I am, but I'm just Jewel with Atlantic Knife. This was the Wii Shudan, and I am signing off.